Well, much of my corn is starting to put on silk. So in this particular patch, I've only got two rows of corn. Two rows of corn is not the way to do it. It's just what germinated and what came up after a couple of floods. I had about 10 rows of corn and got flooded out on most of it. So this is what came up and it's, uh, it's ready. it needs to be pollinated. But since there's only two rows, I can't really depend on uh, the corn to pollinate itself, just wind pollination. Bees don't pollinate corn. So uh, what I'm gonna have to do is try to catch the pollen from the tops, from the, uh, from the tassels there on the tops, catch the, the pollen from that. And then I'm going to use a makeup brush that I bought just for that purpose and go in here get the pollen and individually pollinate those um, uh, silks because I just can't trust I can't trust that these two rows are going to get wind pollinated I, I think I think they need a little help so I'm going to help them out let's go ahead and do that let me show you how I'm doing it so if you don't understand why I'm doing this let me explain the this is called silk on a corn, on a corn ear. That is an ear in the making. Silk pollen from the tassel on top of it um, falls down on the silk and pollinates it. Each of these pieces of silk is attached to a kernel on that corn cob. That's why you see some corn cobs that did not fill out all the way down through, have some missing places. Some of those did not get pollinated. So I've gathered some pollen in here. Now that is probably, the big flakes are probably not pollen, but they are uh, indicative that something fell off of the uh, tassels. So I'm gonna get, uh, collect quite a bit more, and then I'm just gonna go down through here and I'll show you what, uh, how I'm gonna pollinate that. I'm gonna get in here and pick up some of that pollen and pollinate these. Now, I love corn and I want to try to make sure this makes real well. And the ears are filled out nicely like they should be. Something else I'm gonna use this duster for, or this makeup brush for, is applying some pyrethrin to the silks to keep out corn earworms. So we're gonna do that too. Now I'll probably do this twice simply because some of these are not yet silking and it's just probably a good practice to do it twice anyway. Again, you don't have to do this if you got a big field of corn, but if you want to only grow a, a, a couple of rows or a row or two of corn, this might be your solution to the pollination problem. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this row and uh, be done with it for this time. I'll do it one more time probably though. Now, if, if you didn't want to do that, what you can do is pick a, pick a day, uh, and I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do both, but pick a day when it's nice and still. Got a little bit of a breeze right now, you can see, but pick a day when it's still, and, and the, the pollen would fall straight down instead of blowing off, and just come in here and do that. And just tap that 
stalk and have that have that pollen have that pollen falling down on those silks. Uh, wouldn't hurt to just come through here like he's going down a like he's a kid going down a picket fence and just and just do that every day and to get your corn pollinated. If the wind's blowing, you know, it may blow away from you and, and not pollinate the corn. But I've got another row on the other side of this. Right now the wind's blowing this way, and it's a light wind blowing this way. So it's gonna blow some of that pollen. Uh, it's kind of a variable. It's blowing this way, blowing some this way. But anyway, you, you get the picture. Just uh, come through here and tap your corn. It's a good thing to do with tomatoes too. To see, see to it the tomatoes are pollinated. Just give them a tap and uh, try to get that pollen falling down from this corn onto those silks. All right, hope that helps you. Uh, be sure and tune in about 20, 20, 30 days from now, probably about 20 days from now, and I'll be pulling corn and I'll show you how well this worked. We're hoping it works real good. All right, that's it. I've got a few more of these to tap. Try to get that pollen down on those ears. All right. We're gone.